Tonight, college basketball will crown a new national champion. 20 years ago, it was the SU Orange claiming the title against the Kansas Jayhawks down in New Orleans. Joining me now to reflect on that magical night in 2003, national champ Josh Pace, of course, a key fixture for that team all season. Josh, great to have you. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you having me. Um, let, let me run this down for you, your stat line that night. You might, you might remember it, but uh, eight points, eight boards, three steals, two dimes, how fresh is that night still 20 years later in your mind? That's, that's a great question. It's funny because even though it's 20 years, um, it still feels like that was recent and um, the nostalgia is still there. And um, obviously that was a big deal in terms of the history that we have at Syracuse. It's our only championship so far. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very big deal and it still feels really good to know that we accomplished that, 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 that title. If it's, if it's fresh, give me, are there one or two things from that night? It could be before the game, during the game, after the game. One or two of those things that just really are etched in your mind. Just our focus. By the time we got to that point, by the time we got into the tournament, we were really confident mm -hmm. and really confident. And then we won a few games, uh, the Oklahoma State game. Yep. Obviously, we were down a, a bunch of points, mm -hmm. and we were able to come back and win that due to everybody contributing. So at that point, we knew we were really, really, really uh, close and had a really good opportunity to win the championship. When you see that block by Akeem Warwick, that famous block right there, you're like, oh, my gosh. We're national champs. Or when does that moment like really kind of hit you? Is it cutting down the nets? Is it holding? The, when is that moment? Well, right after that block, it felt like we were the champions, but no. there was still a little bit of time sure. on the clock. Sure. Um, Hakeem was my roommate for four years, so <laughs> it was really cool to see him have that moment and yeah. even be here a couple weeks ago to see him get his jersey retired. You know, but we 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 felt it, but we had to finish the job, mm -hmm. and um, we finished it and. Great moment, great moment in Syracuse history. Um, what was it like? So that's obviously amazing, magical for you all. Then you come back here mm -hmm. and there's a celebration and there's mm -hmm. a parade and you know how hungry this community is for, for SU basketball. What is that like when you come back? Do you understand just what you mean to this entire community? Still to this day, by the way. Absolutely, I, I, I didn't know how serious it was until after the championship, I mean, you know, being recruited and coming here, I know how much um, Syracuse basketball means to the community and the support that we got. But after that championship, you could see everybody um, happy and just proud that we were able to achieve that moment. Because if you look at our history, that's something that we probably, we not probably should have done, but our, our program has to accomplish that. Yeah. And it was cool yeah. to accomplish, to be a part of that accomplishment. Yeah. Um, I asked um, uh, Mr. Poetry, number 21, a couple of weeks ago this. I go, uh, dig this one out. Lawrence Moten, of course, legend, right? Mm -hmm. um, I said, give me a story that nobody's heard um, before, maybe from, for, in your case, that, uh, that championship night there mm -hmm. that you go, oh, this is a fun one. You'll get a kick out of well, this. Well, you know, after we won the championship, to see Coach Beheim so calm and relaxed, I mean, I think um, to get that win for him as a team, uh, I think it took some weight off his shoulders. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's, he's obviously a legendary coach, so, you know, he deserved the championship. And to be um, in the category with some of the other coaches, Coach K, yeah. you know, that level, it was, that was good for him to get mm -hmm. that, you know. But just to, just to see um, us able to relax and be calm and enjoy the moment uh, right after the game, but obviously after that, once we got to you know, Bourbon Street, yeah. a story I can't tell. It was, it was a great time. <laughs> off great off, time. off air, I'm going to hear that. Um, um, anything in particular in a, in, a, in a very late timeout or something? That he, he, or was it business as usual, you, you know? It was business as yeah. usual. Yeah. It was business as usual. You got to approach that as, as mm -hmm. any other game. But yeah. Coach Beheim was on top of it. He, I mean, obviously, yeah. you know, he, he took care of his business and made the right subs. And, yeah. um, you know, we had a really good chemistry at that mm -hmm. point, you know? Yeah, I want to talk about that chemistry. Uh, we got about a minute to go. Uh, okay. Team's only together for one year. Mello goes pro. Queth was a senior, he graduates, mm -hmm. um, but the bond that you still seem to have um, with all of those people on that team mm -hmm. seems as strong as ever 20 years later. Is, yes, is that true? Is that bond that tight? Well, that's the reason we won the championship, because we were all uh, really cool with each other. The culture was really good. The, the coaching staff did a good job of bringing in the right type of personalities mm -hmm. for, for that accomplishment. So, um, you know, for even 20 years later, to see us still coming together and being around each other and uh, coming to the community yes. here in Syracuse and, and showing the love and getting the love, you know, it's, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, 20 seconds. Where, where's, where's the ring? It's at home. It's at my mom's yeah, house. Yeah. Two rings. I got yeah. a ring from the NCAA and a ring, a ring from Syracuse University. So we have two. Cool. But it's it's locked up. I'll bring it out if it, if it if it has to come out. Oh, awesome, Josh Pace from the 2003 SU National Championship game. Josh, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you having me.